Firmware 22.00 was officially released on June 9th, and it seems like there are an awful lot of people struggling to get it installed correctly. So let's take a look at the installation process, step by step. The first thing you need to do is open Axe Edit. If it's out of date, you should get a new version available message, as long as your computer is connected to the internet. If you don't get that message, you can download the most recent version by using the link I put in the description. Go ahead and install it. The next step is to manually download Firmware 22. Again, I'll have a link in the description. Unzip the firmware file and you'll see a folder that contains a release notes PDF file, a readme for the firmware update, a readme for Dynacabs, the Dynacabs SYX file, and the firmware SYX file. Now you're ready to begin. Open Axe Edit, click on Help, and then About. You should now have version 1.13.02. If not, go ahead and repeat the first part of this process. Close this window. Now click on Tools and click on FractalBot. If you aren't in Send Mode, then click on the Send Mode button. Under Number 1, select your device. All three windows should say AxeFX3 with green check marks. Now go to Number 2, choose a file to send. Click on Browse. Navigate to the Firmware 22 folder that you unzipped earlier. Select the AxeFX3 SYX file and click on Open. Now go to Number 3, send the file, and click on Begin. The update process starts, and at the end you're given the notice to power down the Axe FX3 for 5 seconds, and then turn it back on again. Turn it back on, and after it reboots you get the message that you've got the incorrect Dynacab version. This is telling you you need to load the correct Dynacab file. Go back to FractalBot, and repeat the update process, but this time choose the Dynacab's SYX file. When it finishes, you'll have to power down again for 5 seconds and then turn the Axe FX3 back on. When the Axe FX3 finishes booting up, Axe Edit 3 should automatically do a refresh. If it doesn't, you'll need to go to Settings and then click on Refresh after new firmware. This step is very important and is also the step that most people miss when doing this update. When the refresh process has finished, Click on the cab block in whatever preset is loaded. Under channel there is a new type option and right now it says legacy. Click where it says legacy and you should have a Dynacabs option. Select it. Cab 1 gets populated with a 1x85F1 tweed. Click there and you should get the full list of 39 Dynacabs. Now click next to mic where it says condenser. You should get the list of four different mic types. Condenser, Dynamic 1, Dynamic 2, and Ribbon. That's it! You can also check for the six Rev amp types in the amp block. This firmware update has been causing problems for Axe FX3 owners because of the two-step process and also having to do the refresh after new firmware. Hopefully this video should help you get Firmware 22 up and running with no problems. Let me know if you still have any issues. Now this Wednesday we are going to have a fresh preset for Preset of the Week. You don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Alright guys, see you on Wednesday.